2022, I went over to Pamplona with my buddies Nick and Mike to run with the Bulls. I haven't done it since and I had never done it before and I don't know if I'd ever do it again. But when we got there, we met two Pamplona locals who gave us some advice. The first was, don't run. The second was, don't drink. Third, make sure you sleep if you're going to run. And the fourth, don't run. Needless to say, we didn't follow any of that advice, but I wanna give you some of my own advice after having run with the bulls and lived to tell the tale, and then let you know a little bit about things that you should know if you're thinking about running for yourself. The running of the bulls is an event that takes place in Pamplona, Spain from the 6th of July until the 14th. Now the 6th of July is when they're gonna have the initial kickoff celebrations, and it's really the 7th of July that you have the first run. And every morning around eight o'clock, in the morning, you have that race. Now, a lot of people don't know, but it's only about two minutes total. It's extremely fast. The bulls run through the town, get over to the bull ring, and it's those same six bulls that are gonna be the ones that are used in the bull fights later in that evening. So you have your chance to run throughout the entire week, one run, one race, basically every single morning, but it's absolutely packed. And they always say that it's 33% Americans, 33% Australians, and 33% maybe some Spanish and the rest of the world. So there are a lot of different people there. I got over there on July 6th and wanted to check out a little bit of those opening ceremonies and you've got a chupinazo, which is a huge firework that set off and that gets everything going. Now, my buddies got in a little bit later. We met up and we started just kind of walking around the course, wanted to see a little bit of the idea of how long it takes. Probably walking it takes maybe about 10 minutes or so, but like I said before, that race in itself is gonna take about two, two and a half minutes. Keep in mind those bulls are running extremely fast. The most dangerous part is not actually the bulls, it's gonna be all the other people. Because once those bulls start getting close, or once people start getting a little bit nervous, everyone starts pushing, running, and trying to get out of the way and everything, and so you kinda of just get thrown all, all over the place. We got there on the seventh to run, and one of the things that I didn't know before is that we got over to the race and you have to get there really early. Keep in mind, hotel rooms are sold out. There's nowhere to go. We ended up just sleeping in the street. So that whole idea of get some rest, definitely didn't get to any of that the night before. What we did is we got over super early. You gotta get there even like an hour before, before seven o'clock, because what they do is they cut off all of the streets and you have policemen that are directing people to one entrance where everybody can go. Now, I remember when we got over there, all these people were kind of looking around, asking kind of what was going on, where we needed to go, and the police wouldn't let us in through the fences that they had set up. Now, fortunately, I was able to speak to the police and say, hey, what's the deal? What do we need to do? Me and my buddies, we started walking over to where we needed to go, and I just remember turning around and seeing, like, it felt like thousands of people following us so that we could get over there. Fortunately, we made it over to the spot that we needed to be, and we got in to the actual race part. Now, when we finally got into the track, everyone is just packed in like sardines before they can actually move. And when they open up the fence and let everybody kind of get ready to start the race where they want to, and this is just really before the race starts, you can decide if you wanna finish all the way down by the end, by the bull ring, or if you wanna start a little bit earlier, closer to the pin or whatever. July 7th, uh, 7, 03 a.m. Here with Nick Trudger and Patrick Reyes. Extremely nervous for this uh, first bull run of 2011. As you can see, there are tons of people here. I really don't know why we're doing this. Uh, we slept for about 20 minutes last night, and my ankle is in uh, a lot of pain. I can barely run. So hopefully, we can all make it through. I ended up starting more or less right in the middle. In the middle, you've got the government square. And so I was there, I remember there were so many people there and that right before that race, I remember being asked by my buddies, how do you feel? I've never felt so sick in my life. Just kind of all of those nerves, all that adrenaline, just wanted to throw up. I've never been so scared before something in my life to just get started. About to start, 20 minutes. But once we started to kind of spread out and get everybody to where they went, a lot of people started going towards that end. Maybe that's a better idea so you can kind of run into the ring before the bulls or kind of see that part as well. 
but I hadn't really decided what I wanted to do and decided in the end just to stay in the plaza. And I remember it just felt like nobody was around. Kind of looked over and saw some Australian guys that were there that were just absolutely hammered from the night before. Remember that idea of don't drink? They definitely didn't follow it. Not that we did either, but we got over there and you're kind of just waiting and it's just building up this tension. It's just building up and building up and building up. And then they shoot off the firework that lets everything begin and the pin opens. Now there's a bunch of people down over by where the bulls come out and they start running up and all of a sudden you can hear it. And you just hear those hooves hitting the pavement, hitting the pavement and it's getting closer and closer and closer. And all of a sudden the adrenaline just takes over and you're just jumping. All of a sudden I'm looking around and people are jumping. I'm jumping. My knees are coming up to my chest. I'm going crazy. Then I saw him. And that's when you just go, oh shit. Everybody just starts running, getting out of the way. Some people run straight. Some people jump off to the side. I just started going. But I remember seeing the first bull and it was almost like a, like a cartoon, right? You had all the normal, huge, black, muscular bulls and there was one brown bull. And it wasn't just that he was brown and different, but it, it was kind of like one of the bad guys that you'd see with like an eye patch over him in those cartoons where he had one horn up and the other horn was literally like twisted upside down, looking out, making him the perfect villain. I got out of there as fast as I could. This was way more than what I wanted to get into. I kind of jumped out of the way and watched as these six bulls ran by. And I remember as the bulls run by, there were some bell oxen, there were some huge bell oxen running with them, which is something that I didn't know before. What happens is to keep, to keep those bulls running and really to make sure that they keep moving is they release about three or six bell oxen with them just to keep them all in a pack. Bulls are most dangerous when they're, when they're by themselves. That's when they start to go after and start to attack the different people. But when they're all running in that same pack, it's actually pretty safe within what you can think about, right? While they're running in that pack, going down, they're really not trying to jump out and get anybody, but it's when they get by themselves that it gets really, really dangerous. So once they had kind of all passed, I quickly started running with a bunch of other people as we're going down. And I remember right after the government square, you've got this turn and just down the street, they've got what is called the corner of death. Now the corner of death is something that is a really sharp turn. They actually have a door on it so that after all the bulls go past it, they close it so that nobody can go further and realistically the bulls can't turn around at any point. And so what happens is all the bulls, they just run so fast that they hit into the side and they can't stop. And so if anybody's over there thinking that they're gonna get away from the bulls in that corner, that's usually when you get kind of hit or just slammed into the wall by one of those bulls. And I remember they started running and then we're just running down the street a little bit further down and they close that wall directly after the bulls go through. What they didn't know is that one of the bulls had just kind of sat in the back. Nobody really counted to make sure that all the bulls had gone by. And all of a sudden, what's happening is while I'm running through, one of the bell oxen didn't make it with the rest of the group. And so I'm just kind of running through and I see it, I jump. I just remember I jump out onto the side and they have these wooden fences that are right there. And I jump off onto the side because the bull was getting way too close to me. And this police officer just grabs me and goes, you're done. Pulls me out and says, you're basically done with the race. And I was super disappointed because we we're only about not even a minute in and I'm already done. So what happens is the police officer, she starts to look over to somebody else, take care of somebody else. And I kind of like ninja crawled, jumped back through the fence and started running, started running. And that's when that bell oxen that had gotten turned around all of a sudden is coming back at me. So I'm, I don't know, maybe about three, four feet away from it, kind of jump out of the way and just start running. That fence had opened back up, bell oxen had been turned around, it starts going back the way that it was you know, supposed to be going. Now we're running, going through, and I'm thinking, all right, I'm just gonna finish the race, I wanna just get through to the end. The bulls have already finished all the way down over there. But what happens is we're running through, we're running through, and all of a sudden I hear this <laughs> The bull that had sat back all the way at the end starts coming and everybody that had just been kind of jogging, I've got my camera out, I'm filming, something that you don't want to do. I'm filming running through and all of a sudden this bull just starts coming back again. Everybody jumps out of the way and lets that thing run through and then we start going all the way into the end of, until the end of the race, right? Now the one thing that we didn't know and I didn't know until afterwards and looking is that to kind of clean up everything, they send out three bell oxen a little bit later. So what you have is when we kind of get towards the end, you think everything's done, all of a sudden these bell oxen enter in even later. And so I'm just freaking out, have no idea what is going on and get into the final 
bull ring and everything finishes in that bull ring. And that bull ring is just packed with all the runners who have made it over to the end, kind of just chilling, hanging out. I remember there's a lot of people with their cameras. I had my camera as well, taking pictures. You start to watch the old pictures of the race. They're really showing how long it took, all the different turns and everything like that. And then all of a sudden, all of these other bulls run out. And they have, what they have are these little smaller bulls that have their horns that are basically tipped off and let them run out so that people can kind of wrestle them down or, or play with them. And I was, you know, looking into my camera, wasn't really paying attention and just freaked out again. So it was something that I was just like, what is going on? I remember a lot of people were doing the same thing. We all start running to hide behind those little platforms that they have that when the bullfighters are actually there, that's where they hide if the, if the bull's coming after them. And it just goes on and on and on like that for, you know, a couple hours or anything where they're just having a good time and going through. Now, looking back at all of those experiences, and thinking about it all of these years later, every year that the race is going on, every year that they have the running of the bulls, I always like to watch it again, just to kind of remind myself of my experience going over there, but I don't know if I would ever do it again. That advice that we got at the beginning of don't run, well, we didn't follow it. That advice we got of don't drink, I just always laugh when I think of that because the minute that they told us not to drink before the race, my buddy Nick turns around with like two shots of tequila for each of the people that are over there. So we obviously didn't do that. And then the part about sleeping, we obviously didn't follow. Like I said before, really there was no space. One of the things you need to think about is that even if it's in July and you're in Spain, you're in the northern part of Spain. So it's extremely cold. And so I, who got over there with just a t-shirt and basically some shorts, I had to buy a sweatshirt for the evening because it was so cold. Everybody was just out in the park, just kind of laying around, seeing if they could get any sleep but we didn't manage to really get any sleep at all. So getting up wasn't really a problem. But the biggest thing that I think that you need to know if you want to go and run with the bulls is not that you shouldn't run. That's up to you, that's your decision. You shouldn't drink, you shouldn't you know, go all night without sleeping like we did, is that you need to know those timings. You need to know that you need to get there about an hour before just so you can get into the race. I would walk it the night before or the day before just to kind of see what the course looks like. It's also really cool just to see all of the shops boarded up because they know the bulls are gonna run by and understand that there are a lot of people around. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you're not kind of like pushing or trying to push people out of the way or anything like that. And know that you're not gonna be able to run the entire time, right? I said two and a half minutes kind of is the average or so that you're gonna be running. But realistically, a good run in front of a bull is gonna be like 20 seconds. There's no way that you can stay in front of those guys the entire time. And there are professionals that do it more towards the end. If it's your first time, maybe if you can, I didn't have the privilege of doing it, but maybe if you can, watch that race before, watch the day before, and then maybe do it the second. Whatever you decide to do, it's a super cool experience just to be in Pamplona for the event. Remember, it's that week long kind of just party. I've never seen a city so disgusting and so dirty the next morning when I woke up and basically had to get over to the train station. But the, the partying that goes on all night and even into the next day, it really is something to experience if you've got the time and you're over here in Spain in July.